my god, Cali Muscle. I don't know if you heard of Cali Muscle. I've heard of Cali Muscle. Who? Dude, it's been around since I was in like literally middle school. Well, he used to be one of the biggest bodybuilders on the face of the planet, not just with his physique, but also his career. But if you look at him now, he's kind of just a shriveled up raisin, to be honest. Raisin of California sunshine. Now, if you're familiar with Cali Muscle, there's a really important distinction to make here that he is not a golden era bodybuilder by any means. He's only 49 years old and was actually still competing up until about a decade ago. And up until even about 2021, he still had a ridiculous amount of size on him. So what's the chain of events that led him from that person to literally this person? If you don't have big arms with knots like this, you're fat. <laughs> And that's all right, I'm here to help you, bro. I'm not talking down to you, looking down on you, nothing. But it's time to stop pumping that poison in your body. See this? That's what you want, bro. No, thank you. No, thank you. Well, in November 2021, Callie suffered from what is called a Widowmaker's heart attack, where his largest artery around his heart became completely blocked. And he has, in the past, quite reasonably pointed towards his abuse of steroids, as well as his god-awful diet that he had while he was in prison and outside of prison. 11 years in prison, top ramen, four or five a day. I used to have fucking headaches all the time. I didn't know about sodium. I was eating that, honey bun, Snickers, all this high cholesterol food. So it was some health going on there, but just eating all that bad food. And then to top it off with bodybuilding with Roy. Right. And eight HGH and IGF and insulin that's clogging everything up. Right. But unfortunately, we don't have more insight than that on what caused this blockage because the guy claimed Natty up until his life was nearly taken from this heart attack. What I want to do in this video isn't to speculate on what caused his heart attack because I could sit here for hours and make up assumptions of medical claims and, and just not really get anywhere. And it would ultimately really be watered down to just being said that he pushed everything too far. Thankfully, we know that he's being advised by some professional team and seems to be recovering pretty fine. But what I I do want to do is kind of go over where Cali Muscle's at right now because a lot of you, maybe like I have, lost him in the space of time that it was middle school to now and the drastic difference between those two characters and what they're doing for income <laughs> is pretty crazy. Now, you might hope that is a person who went through basically heart failure. He's changing his ways and trying to be a healthier man. And in some extent, you could argue that he's kind of done that. But the ways he's been doing that is a little bit questionable to say the absolute least. And trust me, there's a lot to go over here. I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible, but it's we're going to point out an obvious fucking point. Callie has basically spent his entire career claiming natural. Ain't no test, DECA, trend, clean, none of that up in me, bro. Ain't no creatine, protein powders, none of that, bruh. Ain't no weight gain, shake, none of that, bruh. That's how I'm so stressed. It's time to tell the people the truth. Tell them, you know, what my cycle is. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Here we go. Woo I mean, I don't know why. Who believes that this guy is, is fucking natural? This is crazy. And clearly some people don't believe this, but that's besides the point. Callie went from claiming completely natural to admitting to PED use just to preach about now being anti-steroids and then claiming totally natural again, like a retroactive natty in a way. It's all trash, man. I don't need them no more. I don't need it. Steroids are a waste of time. And I was happy, natural, like I am now. Hey, look, he's got an overall decent message here. I think it's good for general population people to actually hear the dark side of steroids because as I've covered in many videos before, it's often completely avoided in subjects of conversation. And when it comes to pushing your physique to its limits, maintaining health becomes a pretty sketchy variable. But we can't just act like steroids are the devil and the only implicit way that a person is going to have heart health issues. And in fact, it could just be the person's irresponsible behaviors that's leading to those 
familiar heart issues. The doses make the poison for sure. And many of us can push grams of testosterone just fine, you know, a gram, but I'm not playing around with like 10 cc's of trend a week or anything fucking crazy like that. Where there is some people who pushing the boundaries of four or five grams of total androgens is pretty common. And I would argue that to get to Callie's size, he had to do quite a bit of stuff. And as we can see here, he is now continuing to claim in 2024 that he is not only using steroids, but is also not benefiting from HRT or TRT either. No protein, no creatine, no caffeine, no beef, no chicken, no fish, no water, no processed meat, uh, GMO water. That's right, man-made water, processed in plastic bottles, none of that. Hey, and like I say, if you over 16 to 70 and you can't do muscle up, you weak, bro. Do you really expect me to believe that there is literally nothing in your system right now, brother? And I'm so sorry, but like no one, absolutely no one after slamming grams and grams of gear is going to come off cold turkey and look like this. I mean, he's literally dick skin lean at 50 years old and anyone with just a small amount of common sense is going to think that this is utter bullshit. And to no one's surprise, he says it himself. He's on TRT. Do you take anything now? Since uh, a small dosage. I do like a half a cc every other week. So you're looking at, I do about 250 migs a month. So what's that, just testosterone, is it? Yeah, 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 just some tests. And yet all of these posts claiming to be on zero replacement therapy were made after that clip I just showed you. And let me just say that this protocol probably couldn't be designed any worse. <laughs> like, I don't know who's guiding him through this shit, but why is he only taking one shot every other week who knows the dose overall isn't bad 250 milligrams a month is a little bit over 60 milligrams a week which fair enough which well is in the ballpark of genuine trt but you cannot just compare 250 milligrams a month dosed twice or more per week versus just twice per month the ups and downs he'll be experiencing is just nonsensical and could be easily avoided as well as i have to admit there's fucking no way the dude's only on 60 milligrams of testosterone per week on average. The whole point of replacement therapy is to make you feel normal and stable and like a healthy human being. And if you're just doing injections every fortnight or other every other week for TRT, it's, you're going to feel miserable. You're not going to feel like a normal human because we are diurnal human beings. Our pulsatile secretion of testosterone or creation of testosterone doesn't happen on a fortnight basis. It happens on a daily basis from morning to night. Maybe his thought process was the less I inject, the more natural I am. I don't you know, dude, what allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. And I just find this shit insane because he's openly acknowledged to using TRT and he's still pushing content out just like this, comparing taking PEDs and supplements to a satanic ritual. I love bodybuilding. And what I mean by that is not the typical bodybuilder. I don't like you having to destroy your body doing satanic and demonic rituals to get big muscles. So what that mean? I don't like supplements. I don't like steroids, peptides, none of that stuff, right? That's man-made, putting in your body. Do love if you're eating uh, from God, fruits, vegetables, nuts, grains, stuff that God ordained us to eat. And the same guy who has a supplement company, like what the fuck? I mean, I wouldn't be sitting here claiming to care about my audience's health and claiming that the best approach is to obliterate your endocrine system and avoid any particular drug or supplementation to help with your current disorder. Because it might be surprising to some of you, but Western medicine, while it is flawed, can be extremely beneficial to some people in some circumstances, like literally life or death kind of important. But you know what's worse than all of that? As we're speaking today, the motherfucker is not just vegan, but he is totally raw vegan and outright against any kind of supplementation at this point. And I was tearing these up, man. I thought they was healthy. Come to find out, they have canola oil. That's a no-no. We don't want no canola oil in our system. So you want to go with the raw. Raw. They don't taste as good, but they just straight pumpkin seeds. And what these do for me is firstly boost my testosterone level and they boost my libido. You know, uh, being that I'm not on no synthetic uh, TRT or testosterone boosters except my own hyphy test, this, these pumpkin seeds will raise your testosterone and give you that libido you need. 
Before digging into this, it's extremely important and worth noting that he became this extreme veganist before the guy was posting McDonald's mukbangs and after his heart attack, which we contributed to the heart attack itself. This is the same guy sucking down McDonald's, who's also now a raw vegan. So clearly he didn't actually learn his lesson. And sure, I mean, I don't disagree that you can have a change of heart, but this is not the first time a bodybuilder has gone from one extreme of a lifestyle to the next extreme of lifestyle. And Callie specifically is more genuinely delusional than I first could have ever imagined when I started recording and writing this video. Just look at the past six videos he's made. It's actually seven in a row at the time of recording this. And if you ask me, it doesn't look like this content is made from a sane person. <laughs> like what the fuck is with all the watermelons? Why watermelon in particular? So watermelon, it just detoxes you. For some reason, you had the most spiritual awakening with watermelon yeah um it, it's bizarre man i feel and like when i eat watermelon i become alive i think i was right now we've got some hippie shit thrown in the mix too and i don't know who's selling him the ideas but he's gone so far as to claim because he's type a blood he just does well on fruits and vegetables so i just went on this i started researching fasting i did the water fast uh pineapple i did apple fast and i i'm i learned i'm type a blood type i just do well on fruit and veggies it's amazing so would you re recommend watermelon fasting for most people yeah if you have body fat but if you low body fat it's gonna be tough mm -hmm. you know what i mean but if you want to lose weight super fast detox and uh it's amazing i might try it bro i won't debate the fact that carbohydrates are absolutely necessary to grow muscle and create retention of muscle but the idea that you don't need protein to contribute to muscle growth is absolutely idiotic how do you how do you maintain your lean body mass with virtually no protein we've been lied to all my life and especially going to prison i never believed in protein it all is a fallacy to me um mm. everybody i grew up with was swole off eating a lot of carbs you know and uh what happened was when uh joe weeder got arnold to promote this protein stuff everybody believed it that's when it became this big hype and me and my partners used to laugh at it like what protein nigga we eating these carbs and so uh yeah i never believed it that's why i never sold it i never believed in protein and it's not you guys that i'm worried don't understand this it's his audience that's buying bullshit like this amino acids have to convert into protein yeah that's what they don't tell us so when you just consume a straight protein guess what it gotta reverse and break it down to amino acid and so people didn't realize that and i didn't at the time but once i went on watermelon i'm like oh that's i've only sold bcaa's amino acids with my supplements you know, you could research it and it'll tell you that amino acids convert into protein. Mm -hmm. So as long as you get an amino acids, you Which could. Which is a watermelon. Uh-huh. I mean, dude, if there is one thing this industry has collectively decided is nothing but snake oil, it's fucking BCAAs. We're all well aware at this point that you can consume enough dietary protein that you don't need to supplement with BCAAs at all because they certainly don't improve muscle growth, let alone benefit anything else. We do know that essential amino acids have some pretty potent benefits in terms of an intra workout window, but that's just about it. What more can you expect from a guy that thinks that amino acids acids are going to convert to protein for the whole body. He could literally not have this shit more backwards. I mean, holy shit, this dude is no longer healthy. He literally went from killing himself with KFC to now killing himself with watermelon. I mean, the jokes do write themselves. Don't fucking get okay? <laughs> I realize how bad that sounds, but it's literally what he's doing. It's literally what he's doing. I can't help it. And we've we've already had influencers die of the raw vegan diet. And I think it's important to realize that it is no better than those on the spectrum of the 600 pound life or something. Now, look, I don't disagree that Cali needs to downsize to prevent any more cardiovascular disease type issues and decrease his mortality risk. His body and heart just can't simply keep up with the ridiculous amount of size anymore. But this challenge aside from from just being an outright terrible way to go about this, there's also zero justified reason for him to be doing this as he weighs just about 180 pounds to begin with already. I mean, just looking from a clip of his most recent videos, you can see that he's lost an insane amount of weight. And if it wasn't for the extreme filters he's putting on his shits, you could see that the loss has been majoritively muscle mass. And unfortunately, what happens when you throw around terms like detox and cleanse, you get a ton of Facebook moms thinking that they're missing the piece in the puzzle.
puzzle and they're going to end up taking this idiot's advice because well literally nothing else has worked for them because well literally they haven't actually tried at anything they've ever done but the rabbit hole goes so much deeper than this and you'd be surprised to find out that this isn't the only garbage that cali muscle well actually you might actually be already aware of the garbage that cali muscle is dishing out at this point in the many years that cali muscle has been a creator on youtube he's struggled to find his purpose on the platform and to define who he is as a creator i.e for him the best way to make money going from making typical gym bro content to literally doing mukbangs to then making his own music videos and albums to car videos and pimp my ride type stuff and many more strange and disconnected niches from where he originated from it seems that he's actually now claiming himself to be or positioned himself to be an e-commerce guru i had a fucking rough childhood i went to prison for 11 years had a fucking heart attack you think i let that stop me no i didn't you shouldn't let it stop you i'm getting stuff like this that don't that car don't matter discipline go cause you to get everything you want to acquire and that's what i want to bring to you guys i'm gonna be your mentor your coach money and muscle tribe hey we take it over we want everybody to get rich healthy and wealthy so sign up today or so i thought and upon further inspection his idea of helping you escape the matrix is and i'm not kidding literally selling shout outs for a ridiculous price mind you what's up with it guys i got some exciting news i'm doing a fourth of july special that's right i'm gonna let you post two videos on my instagram and i usually charge 200 dollars per video but you're gonna be getting two on my instagram but guess what here's the kicker those two videos is gonna go on my Facebook as well. So you're gonna be getting four video posts on Kali Muscle social media for only $200. Now I don't know if he's straight up scamming people or it's just that no one is buying this shit, but in the many days I've spent researching Kali Muscle, I haven't seen a single piece of content this guy has promoted for anybody else. And let's not forget, Kali Muscle has done 11 years in jail time. So you'd think he's not gonna pull some dumb shit and blatant scam, possibly leading himself back in to the federal prison but unfortunately it doesn't seem that that's entirely the case allegedly he's already been outed for doing some really scammy stuff in his car video era or like the pimp my ride cali edition arc and he recently got called out by john bravo falsely striking kenny ko's video content which is also illegal good old cali muscle yeah I, I woke up to you know this notification today for those of you that aren't aware it's a copyright strike notification so i got copyright strike even though my content falls under fair use uh because it's transformative i'm reacting to content he posted on a public platform being youtube instagram TikTok. um and i'm giving my opinion based on things he said that were a little outlandish that water is bad for you if it has any type of electrolyte in it i mean you, you can go back and watch my videos on any other platform but this is just the most weak-minded move you can possibly do so cali if you want to settle this go ahead and reach out to me and do it in person i mean however you want and as i am literally literally doing this right now with you guys he has just gone headfirst into his next scam which makes me believe that the shoutouts gig wasn't working so hot for the dude you see his instagram bio went from i teach men how to escape the matrix and his link took you to the site i'm showing you here but as of today he removed his entire bio and the only thing that remains is this link oh boy this this is where shit gets nuts. To give you some context, if you haven't already got the gist based on the domain, Cali is pushing his own crypto shit coin. What's up with that Cali coin, man? What up, babies? What's up? Oh, you heard about the Cali coin? Yeah. Oh, I just released it the other day. Congratulations, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You in the crypto? I'm in the crypto. I love it, shit. man. I love the crypto. Let me airdrop you some. All right. Send me your code. Bam. Send them some. Some of that Cali. Send. Cali. Bam. Let's see. Oh, there it is. There it is, baby. My man. Thanks, brother. Hey, oh, so yeah. Much. Oh, yeah. Now, I'll delve deeper into this in a moment, but just goes to show that he is genuinely only in it for the money. <laughs> And it's crazy that he positions himself as a money-making guru or an e-commerce specialist, and he doesn't even clearly have a foundational way to generate consistent income for himself yet, or get views, or just how to even jump from one scam to another cleanly. I mean, dude, did I even fucking mention this guy also has a cookie business for which doesn't even make sense given, as this comment perfectly points out, protein, powder, creatine, and food are bad for you, but these $5 cookies are good. 
Callie? Is that is that what we're saying after you said that, you know, raw vegetables are the only way to go? What the fuck is going on here? But even that business was shut down over scammy accusations. And based on the disclaimer, you can kind of see why. There are no guarantees when the cookies will be shipped to you. Might as well said, if you don't receive your order, we are not liable for shit. And first of all, I can't even fucking imagine Christians believe that God spoke to you and encouraged you to scam and continuously scam the shit out of your audience who is somewhat loyal to you. Several months ago, God spoke to me and he told me I need to be here for the people. I decided to start a program and in that program is to help you guys financially. And I started calling thousands of guys and I learned that I was needed more than I'd ever thought. Second of all, let's have a look at this crypto project that Callie is claiming to be your way to financial freedom. Now I'm no expert, so everything I'm going is off the second hand here. I don't, I don't know what I'm really talking about, but I think there's good enough advice online to tell you how to spot a crypto scam these days. A token for muscle heads. The new token on the Ethereum blockchain. The influential figure Cali Muscle, renowned in the realm of health and fitness. This token embodies the ethos of the namesake, offering Cali's dedicated followers a unique opportunity to level up not only their health, but also their wealth. Well, it looks like we're basically supposed to be sold on the fact that we get to buy something with Callie's name on it. Sorry to say, but Callie doesn't have any fucking dedicated followers. That's why this guy almost has 4 million subscribers, yet not even 1% of them watch his current videos. And when he launched this coin, people have been giving him absolute shit since day zero. Since day zero. Like, the comments are brutal. And I can't even... I'm not going to say it. I don't want to get demonetized so fast, but I'll put them up. I don't want to say them, but I'll put them up. And Callie is marketing this like it's some form of power passive income and yet the only two benefits listed are exclusive meet and greets which we've already seen nobody gives a shit about and the ability to trade for other products in the future one of which he listed as supplements which i initially thought that cali was totally against in the first place the future capabilities of trading merchandise fitness equipment supplements and other future products associated with cali muscle because i just want a ton of cali muscle memorabilia in my fucking household and there's not going to be a future to this outright scam and again i'm no expert but it looks like based on this chart on his own website that this shit was literally just pumped and dumped this was such a low effort yet high risk at some quick money for something that barely lasted even a single day there are huge celebrities like logan paul facing extremely serious allegations and legal actions based on crypto scams even kim kardashian who has fined 1.3 million dollars after trying to make a quick buck scamming her audience and now we see cali muscle doing the same thing as a desperate person clinging on to the strings of what he used to be or maybe the audience that he used to have completely disassociated from who he was back in the day i mean he wrote a book he had a youtube channel did lots of weird muscle ups and shit now it's just turned into this goggly goop and all i can really see is that cali doesn't know how to stay out of trouble despite his heart attack literally having him break down because he doesn't want to die with his wife and kids at home some people Some people don't get a second chance, man. I got my twins and I got to live, man. Yet he's still trying to cash in on blatant scams and has anger management issues that he'll get caught in trouble for too, no doubt. We came giving them promotion, the advertisement. Excuse you, homie. Oh, my bad. You good? You good? Yeah, I'm good too. Well, yeah, I got to what you mean. Dude, you ain't going to tell me, homie. Kelly, chill, dog. Huh? You, like, oh. you still talking, boy. You still talking? You press me, bro. I don't even talk about that. You press me, bro. You press me, bro. Biggest grip on it. You know it's all good. Stay off all four. Let's go. And if this keeps up, there is no doubt in my mind, at least, that he will certainly face some kind of legal backlash. But of course, this is only if he doesn't die from consuming too much watermelon first. I don't know what you guys think of this crazy shit. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and do the whole thing. We do have a Discord group where we talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. It is not a scam. We actually have coaches in there that help you with your pharmacology, bodybuilding, diet, nutrition, and training one-on-one, -on -one, as well as it gives you a great community to speak to every single day when you are facing issues. Can't afford a coach. This is a really good opportunity for you to get expertise advice without having to pay the premium that a coach could cost. I will see you guys in the next video.